Right, welcome to day 17 of the ICT Games Daily Dollop of Maths. Um, uh, today there's a worksheet to print out. We're going to be looking at some measuring activities. Uh, so please, it's in the box below, so please print, print that one out. Uh, please be sat with an adult. Uh, please um, love your mistakes and join in. Okay, here we go. So, we will start with counting cars. Okay, this is a game where you're driving a car and uh, you have to crash into the car that you're looking for on the car park. So we're going to do numbers between 50 and 120. So I have to start the engine. And I'm looking for where's 93. And I'm driving the, whoop, driving the car. Here we go. Where's 93 going to be? There's 87. There's 92. Where's 93 going to be? There's 95. There we go. The next one. Oh, 109. Where would 109 be? There's 102. There's 108. Which one would be 109? Say the colour. Yeah, it'd be the light blue one. Or the light grey blue one, isn't it? Ooh, ah, if I hit the wrong one. Ooh, I was lucky. Now, where's 115? There's 105. 106. There's 113. Which one would be 115? 112, 113, 114. 115, this grey one. Ooh, right, I don't hit the wrong one. Ooh. Ah, very good drive. Oh wow, we've got been upgraded to a Porsche now. Okay, here we go. Where's 91? 96. 90, oh, 94. Oh, that's tricky. 94, 93, 92. 91, there we go. There we go. I'll put that as a link. You can have a go at that. Uh, you can uh, I'll put that as a link underneath this video. Let's have a look at the next bit. Okay, guys, here we go. So we're starting at 20. We're counting on in ones. Off we go. Counting in ones. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. I'm going to stop there. I'm going to um, turn the numbers off. I'm going to move it backwards and forwards. What would that number be? It's You feel like you're in the 60s because you're next to the 60s, but you're not. You're still in the 50s. Turn to your partner. Yes, 59. One less than 60. 59. Okay, here comes the next one. What's that number? It's three more than 70. You're in the 70s here. Here's the 60s, then you're into the 70s. Yeah, 73. Let's do another one. Let's change direction. This one's a bit like a thermometer. Where? Oh, <laughs> sorry, I should have switched it off. I'm so sorry. <laughs> what number is that one? There's 55. Yeah, 57. Let's try another one. Turn this off. What's that one? So here's 70. 71, 72, 73, 74, 75. Yeah, 76. Fantastic. Okay, now here we've got our... Um, uh, here's zero, here's 50. We've got our little rubber band that we're going to put on here. I'd like you to point for me. Actually, let's have a look at the numbers first, just to see what it looks like. We've all got them in fives. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Now, 25 is slap bang in the middle because it's halfway between 0 and 50. So remember, 25 is halfway. OK, so where's 25? Ooh, I reckon about there. Oh, not too bad. Okay, if there's if that's twenty five, where would ten be? Where would ten be? Yeah, I think that's twenty five. That's probably twenty. So I want halfway between zero and twenty. So I'm gonna say about here. I reckon. I reckon about there. Oh, I'm getting better at this. I used to be rubbish. Okay, uh, where? So back in the middle is twenty-five. Where is forty? This is fifty. 
sort of we said 10 was about here the same distance from 50 backwards I think 40 is probably about here I'm gonna guess about here oh not quite this time love and mistakes okay I'm gonna go to 0 to 100 have a look let's count 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 100 and what's halfway from 0 to 100 yeah 50 so where's 50 show me 50 yeah I think about there I think about there oh close that's 50 that's halfway so if that's 50 where is 25 now 25 is a really useful one here because 50 is halfway to 100 half of 50 halfway in here is 25 so it should be about there yeah very close there's 25 okay so if that's 25 that's 50 where's 75 now 75 is halfway between 50 and 100 so where do you think 75 is going to be it's halfway between 50 and 100 so it's halfway it's probably about here I reckon so about there oh no very close though there you go good job guys super job right let's do some counting uh so do some duck shoot let's do some counting in twos okay we're looking for 14 so counting twos uh, I'm going to pause and let you work out which one it is. Okay, I'm going to do it now. 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. This one. Hey. And I've got a bullet hole there. Where's... Oh, 14 again. Same one again. Uh, well, I'll just go again. 6. Where's 6? Oh, we're on to, it starts at 2. 2. Oh, sorry. I'll give you time to find it. Sorry. Two, four, six. Right, we're starting at two. Where's sixteen? You find it first. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. Oh, look, got four bullet holes. Right, twelve. Well, we're starting at four, which duck would be twelve? Four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Last one. Starting at ten, which one will be twenty-two? You find it first. Ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two. Youch. Oh, sorry. Okay, good job, guys. Okay, now before we. To go any, what we're going to do next is we're going to use our printout um, and on our printout we've got uh, a, a ruler that we've made and this seems really weird why have we cut out a ruler um, but the reason we've cut out a ruler is because print different printers print different sizes different computers are different um, and it can be awkward to get these lines to fit exactly um, the right sizes so I've made a ruler that will print out and be the right size to go with it okay now these little tiny gaps here between here and here is one centimeter that's one centimeter and I'm going to measure the line here that's labeled a B now here is something that people do very often when they're measuring with a ruler they put the start of the plastic part of the ruler up to the line but that's not where the numbers start that's just a bit of loose extra stuff uh, on the end of the ruler it's just a loose bit of extra plastic we, that's not where the ruler starts the ruler starts where the zero is so we've got to put the zero on the line whoops so you can see it and now I can run my finger along and where it stops there we go 10 10 centimeters and the interesting thing here is what people do is they don't bother to write centimeters instead they just use the C and the M to make centimeters so if we say that's 10 centimeters I can move this out of the way um, and I can write here length a B is 10 centimeters okay let's try the next one so I've got 
length CD, a line label CD. Now again, so I move my, move my ruler, adjust it till I get it just where I want it. I've got to get the zero at the start. This is the start of where we're measuring from, not the end of the plastic here from the, from the start here. Here's zero, I move across, five. And it's not five chickens, it's five centimeters. So the length CD is, oops, five centimeters. It'd be nice if I got that to fit in that box, wouldn't it? Not very tidy. So your job, guys, is to measure those lines. And then, let's see if I can get it on here. And then, after you've measured those lines, okay, We've got a toy car traffic accident. My toy car, this is this is the police car crash investigation file. Um, my to the toy cars have had a crash and you are the investigating officer. Measure the length of each car. So you've got, you've got to measure how long the cars are and then measure the length of each skid. And the yellow skid goes from here to here. You don't need to measure this one. So you measure, you measure them all the way along here and the green car skid goes from here to here and the bluey gray car goes from here to here. So you can write those answers at the end. Okie dokes. Now I'm gonna, uh, if, you, if I pause the video, you can have a go at those. Right, if you've had a go at uh, measuring the cars, uh, we're now gonna finish off um, with an activity I'm gonna put in the little box at the bottom, okay? And we're gonna be measuring mass, how much something weighs. It's good to use the word mass for how something weighs. Instead, I, I try not to say how, some, how much something weighs. I try and say, what's the mass of that thing? And uh, here we go. We are a postman. Here comes a postman van. And we're going to weigh our letters to see how much they weigh. This first one, that's quite, oh dear, that's going to be quite tricky as a beginning one. Here's zero kilograms. Here's one kilogram. It's halfway. That would be half a kilogram and I press check and off he goes that means we got it right okay and put, I've got the parcels away I put my parcel on the scales now we're measuring in kilograms 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 are very heavy they're the weight of a bag of sugar it's, it's heavier than your packed lunch or probably as heavy as your packed lunch weighs it's quite a lot so here's one kilogram here's two kilograms so it's two two kilograms and I'll check that fantastic what have we got next oh, this is a big parcel I wonder if it weighs a lot oh my word it is a lot isn't it so zero one kilogram two kilograms three kilograms oh four kilograms but it's more than four kilograms it's four and another half a kilogram so four and a half so you put four kilograms in and then you can say half four and a half kilograms. Here comes our next one. What have we got? Oh, another parcel. Put that on. Ah, now here's zero. Here's one kilogram. It's halfway, so it's half a kilogram. Half a kilogram. Let's try another one. The green letter. Oh, that's heavy. Oh my word, that letter weighs a lot. Oh my word, I don't know what they've got in there. Very heavy paper. So here's zero kilograms, one kilogram, two kilograms. Okay, I'll leave that. You can have a go at that um, uh, uh, when we finish. It's this one. I will try this one first, okay? This level. That's the level I've chosen. So guys, um, thank you very much. Your prize today is... Uh, when I was little, uh, there's, you probably don't know this, the supermarkets used to have like a tube in them that went from the till all the way to um, the office in the supermarket. And the people used to put the, their money in a little pot and a little container, close the pot up, put it in the tube and it goes shoom, up to the office. So what you'd get is a pipe, the prize, not actual prize, goes from your house all the way to your friend's house. And you can put anything you want in the pot and push the button and it goes shoom all the way through the pipe to your friend's house. Well done, see you next time.